Welcome to another um, edition of Barrister in a Balaclava. Today I'm going to talk very briefly about trusts. I say very briefly because I know almost nothing about trusts. And when I was at uh, bar school, we had to do a trust course, and I found it so difficult to understand that I just simply opted out of it. I remember going to see Rocky IV at the Leicester Square Odeon um, on the day of our double trust class because I thought I just can't bear this. Uh, I regret it looking back because had I done so I'd have avoided an error I made early in my career where I was asked to sue a trust. It was a trust, um, it may have been a, it was a, a trust which um, I just sued the name of the trust. And of course trusts aren't companies, they're not separate, it's not a separate legal entity like a company is. A company, PLC or limited company, is a separate legal personality for the purpose of the law. A trust remains, uh, it's not a, not a company, the individuals who are, uh, who are the directors or who run the trust, they're the people you sue when you sue a trust. And I only found that out when I was in my second six month pupillage back in the 1980s, desperate to be taken on as a barrister in these chambers, and I make this fundamental mistake. So what I would advise you, if you do find trust difficult, is that um, you do at least take the effort to understand the basics of trust law because it does come up an awful lot in tax planning, inheritance planning, and where there is, say, money paid to somebody um, without uh, any instruction and that person, say, dies, what is created as a matter of English law is a trust. I won't tell you whether it's a resulting or an arising trust, but it is a trust. And there are lawyers who dedicate the years of their lives to understanding this area, and uh, it's not an area you can dabble in. You either have to commit fully to it or you hand over to an expert in the field. But what you can do and should do is understand the basics of it, the rudimentals of uh, the rudimentary elements of it, so you can not be found uh, wanting. And um, another problem I have in my time doing trust was that I worked, put myself through university. I had to work um, in a restaurant kitchen. Uh, the restaurant was called The Reluctant Camel on Ballon High Road. And uh, the owner of the restaurant had the good idea to have a mock-up of a man pulling a camel on with a motorised or mechanical system, with the camel's head going backwards and forwards as it was tugged on by this cut-out cardboard figure, hence the reluctant camel. And I was the chef. I worked there on Thursdays and Sundays, and my trust class was on a Friday. So I did try. I took my book in with me to the kitchen, but I was having to cook all these... Let's not call it a chef. I was a cook. I wasn't skilled, I could toss a hamburger, and I could make a chili con carne, and I made something that we called a stroganoff, but it wasn't, it was just beef in a sauce with some mushrooms. And I'm, anybody who ate it there in the 80s, I apologise deeply for the service you received. I can't offer you anything other than my apologies for it. So that was that. But um, the trust law is important, I, I made light of it at the beginning of this, but it is important to pay attention to understand it. But as I said, unless you're going to go into uh, family law, um, uh, tax planning, or um, an area of law which requires trust, you won't have come across it in many respects at all um, in your practice if you've gone to become a lawyer. But you do have to understand the essentials, the fundamental nature of it, what, is, what the various trusts are, how they are created, and what the consequences are of them. Okay, so that's all I can help you with on trust, I'm afraid. My speciality, specialities lie elsewhere, and when we go on to those, I'll have more to say about them. But I thought it would be wrong of me, and also my director wouldn't let me not talk about trust, so I had to fess up, as young people say. <laughs> fess up is the expression. But I know nothing, next to nothing about trust beyond the fact you don't sue the trust, you sue the trustees of the trust. Individually named, one by one, uh, otherwise you may find yourself being struck out, which is the ultimate embarrassment for a barrister or lawyer. To be struck out, which means that your case was misconceived from the very start. Misconceived. The most painful words you can direct at a lawyer, your submissions or your case is misconceived. So until next time, that's all from us here. As I said last time, if you want to subscribe to our channel, um, then click on one of the boxes either here or there, and we'll, we'll welcome you on board and look forward to speaking to you next time. Thank you. That's all for now. Bye-bye.